Hey everyone, it's me Charlie here. Welcome back. And today I'm not going to waste too much time. I'm just going to dive right into the video topic. You probably noticed that last month uh, there was no video upload, which is unlike me. Uh, I usually upload a video once every month, but last last month was well, all of last term really, but last month especially was a really really tough month uh, for schooling and also just with a bunch of different stuff that was on that clashed a little. I'm going to excuse territory here, but basically I still managed to get the video filmed, right? And, and I was having this problem where um, my editing software wasn't taking 4K video, it just wasn't recognizing the format at all, even though it was just MP4, and it should be able to recognize MP4, but just it's probably just the 4K shooting, because hey, new camera by the way, you'll hear more about that when that uh, video actually does end up surfacing, but you know, you can see all my pores now for better or worse, <laughs> probably worse. So I'm making this quick video today to let you guys know the situation. Basically, as the title suggests, I am going on a small hiatus. Unfortunately, with my setup currently as it is now, I can't use this camera and edit it. So that's why this is very brief, because I just can't, you know, do it with anything else. We will be getting a new computer soon, which should be able to handle all of this, <laughs> really. But the thing is, I don't know how long that'll be. It could be a while. But the point is, until then, I am going to be on a little bit of a break from content creating in general. I'm just going to be gone for a bit. I'm letting you guys know because I didn't want you guys to think it was because of lack of motivation or because I was lazy or anything. It's literally because I simply can't film and record videos in my current state of my hardware and setup. So yeah, stay tuned for that. You'll eventually, uh, you'll know it's, you'll know it's working because you'll see that video that I recorded up and running. It should all be fine and working smoothly soon. Ish. Kinda. I don't really know. It'll be sometime, either this month or next month, I think. I should be back. So yeah. Until then, check out some of my other stuff, uh, subscribe, punch the like button, all that YouTube crap that some YouTubers force down their viewers' throats all the time. It's it's annoying for me too. I wanna I wanna be making videos, obviously. It's what I like to do. It's why I do it. <laughs> but I just can't right now, so sorry about that. And I'll see you all soon ish, kind of. <laughs> bye bye. Holy crap, this recent Fortnite event happened today, 5am this morning, because, you know, Oceana time zones, it's fine, whatever, I'm willing to wake up for these sort of things, because they're always amazing, this one especially, probably the best, uh, best live event that I've attended, the two parts, and the amazing things happening in both ones, I mean, look what you're seeing right now, man, this is happening inside of the game, it's so insane, really happy that I, uh, was lucky enough to get to see it because I know a lot of people had issues where the servers were screwed and they didn't get to see it. But I think the creative aspects of it were really cool. The idea of the vault being like a physical thing where the like items were being kept and like this um, desk being like the the guard of of the vault and he's like gone out to get pizza obviously from the the best pizza line uh, on the Fortnite Island Uncle Pete's uh, Pizza Pit which sadly got destroyed today, the restaurant, but I'm sure they'll rebuild somewhere else. They're very resilient like that. We've been through a lot. The Durs will probably come as well. Lucky them. But yeah, and then giving us the choice of unvaulting something. Obviously, you know, I was I was voting for um for the bouncer because healthiest healthiest for the state of the game. But look at how many people are on, on that drum gun, man. It's ridiculous. Yeah, drum gun won by a humongous margin. Because, you know, nothing's ever going to compete to, like, guns. And TAC SMG, for some reason, just had zero chance. I would have voted TAC SMG over drum gun. <sighs> but, I, I don't know. It's back in the game now. And it's just as broken as it was before. So, I don't know how I feel about that. But that's not Epic's fault. That's, um, that's, <laughs> that's, that's their fault. That's our fault, I guess. Look at it. Comes out the front. The music playing here was awesome as well. Really awesome, this first part, and then everyone floats back up into the sky, and then the second part starts, which is both incredibly awesome to finally see the clickba <laughs> clickbait volcano actually explode, but, you know, just seeing stuff fly all over the map, and the fact that they put us up this high so that we could, we could see it all is very good, and then it's also kind of sad, though, at the same time, because as you'll see in a couple seconds, 
we get the big boom first shot off there. Yep, and then it's going to come down onto retail, which is really sad. I really liked retail. I was just starting to land there after after Tomato Temple got replaced. There's a bit left over, but it's not like a proper location anymore. No one goes there, so I was starting to go to retail, getting some kills. You know when to, um, the tomatoes and the dose relocated there, but you know kind of sad the whole place isn't destroyed it's just um that commercial building including the two restaurants half of them which they'll get relocated they've been through a lot us and the Durs will we'll always find a new home uh that piece of the volcano there going off and hitting polar peak causing some serious damage there uh the, the burgers are hopeful that that'll be somewhat aiding in the recovery of their hometown greasy grove but there it goes tilted towers the most iconic uh, place of interest in all of Fortnite. Destroyed. Completely decimated, in fact. The only building standing is that poor cursed building that got destroyed once every season. It definitely deserved that <laughs> after the, what it's been through. I thought that was pretty funny. But yeah, honestly, I think I think it was time for, for Tilted to, to go. Because, like... Sure, I'm going to miss it and all, and I was not a right spot, but it's been in the game for so long, you know? Nothing wrong with shaking up the meta, doing something new. The real question, though, is what's the next Tilted Towers going to be? Because, like, there's lots to pick from, you know, this Pleasant Park, which is kind of a bit far away, and not as, not as much loot as you'd actually think, but it's a fairly big spot. You know, the Salty Springs, which is kind of right in the middle of the map, got a good amount of loot, good amount of space. I think Salty is actually a pretty good t contender which is excellent because I can definitely see Mado and Durberger moving there unless they actually reopen Greasy and Tomato Town or Tomato Temple or whatever but I think that's highly unlikely they've never never brought back a POI before in the history of Fortnite but that would be pretty awesome if they did but anyway yeah just a little uh, event review at the end of this, Tilted Towers completely destroyed, you know, volcanoes exploding, teleporting into different dimensions, drum gun insanely broken, just like before, is now back. But yeah, crazy stuff, really great event, happy I could attend it. Uh, yeah, um, nearly woke Hugh up at 5am this morning yelling, in fact I did wake him up, he was pretty annoyed, but oh well. <laughs> great event, happy I attended yeah, like I said, I'll try and get my Elgato capture card before the next one happens, so that I can, I can maybe record it, make a video. Ooh, I don't know, I don't know. Lots of, uh, lots of possibilities with an Elgato capture card, which is why I'm thinking about it. You know. Anyway, anyway, I'll see you next video when all of this technical stuff is solved. Yeah. All right, see you guys. Bye.